to Madhuna's Kitchen Diaries. Our today's recipe is special, authentic and right from the kitchens of Kashmir. I got an opportunity to learn this recipe from my neighbours who are Kashmiris, who were kind enough to not just show it to me, but also share some tips which I will be sharing with all of you today. Let us see how to prepare Kashmiri Damal. Let's take a look at the ingredients. We have taken around 15 to 16 potatoes. These potatoes are slightly smaller in size than the normal ones and they should not be very starchy and sweet. We also require around 200 to 250 ml of mustard oil, 1 to 2 bay leaves, 2 to 3 small pieces of cinnamon or dalchini, 2 to 3 badi ilaichi, 1 to 2 cloves, 1 fourth teaspoon of hing, 1 teaspoon of jeera, 5 to 6 teaspoon of soft or fennel seed powder, 2 teaspoons turmeric powder, 2 teaspoon jeera powder, 3 to 3 and a half teaspoon of Kashmiri red chilli powder, 5 teaspoons of fresh curd, 1 teaspoon of ajwain and salt to taste. We will cook the potatoes for 2 to 3 whistles and then switch off the gas. The important thing to remember is we have to cook the potatoes just to the point that we can remove the skin easily. We should not overcook them. We will take sufficient mustard oil in a kadhai and allow it to heat up. In the meanwhile, We'll take the peeled potatoes and start pricking them with the toothpick. We are pricking the potatoes so that they get fried evenly. We have to take care to not use too much pressure, otherwise the potatoes will break. Traditionally in Kashmir, while pricking the potatoes, small sticks were used. Nowadays we use toothpicks instead of sticks. We can see that the oil is sufficiently hot. Let us start adding the prick potatoes to it slowly. We'll add around 5 to 6 potatoes at a time so that there is sufficient space in the kadai for frying them. After around 5 to 6 minutes of frying, we can see that one side of the potatoes has turned brown. Let us flip the side and fry them nicely from the other side. After another 5 to 6 minutes, we can see that even the other side has got fried very well. All the potatoes have to become nicely golden brown so that our dam aloo becomes all the more delicious. Let us take the cooked potatoes out of the kadai and set them aside. We'll fry the next batch now. All the potatoes are now fried, we'll set them aside. We'll allow the oil to cool down a bit before adding the spices, otherwise the spices will get burnt. Let us start adding tamal patra, dalchini, badi ilaichi. We'll add cloves, hing, and little jeera. Let us give it a gentle stir. We will add around 2 teaspoons of turmeric powder, 2 teaspoons of jeera powder and 5 and a half to 6 teaspoons of soft or body shape powder or fennel seed powder. This is a very important ingredient which gives the recipe a very nice flavor and taste. Let's give it a stir. We'll add around 3 teaspoons of Kashmiri red chilli powder 
which gives the dum aloo a very nice color. Let us add salt. Let us mix all the masalas well. If we feel that it is becoming too dry, we can add little oil to it. Let us mix it nicely once again. We'll now add little hot water to the masalas and give them a nice stir. We'll switch off the gas and allow the masala paste to cool down completely. Let us add around 5 teaspoons of whisk curd to the masalas and give it a nice stir. After adding curds, the gravy becomes a bit thick. We will add little more hot water to give it the right consistency. Let us prick the fried potatoes once again. Doing so ensures that they absorb the spices nicely when we add them to the gravy. Let us add all the potatoes to the gravy in this manner. Let us mix all the potatoes slowly but gently, taking care that they do not break. We will start adding hot water to give it the right consistency. We'll mix it gently once again. After adding sufficient hot water, we'll bring it to a boil and then cover it with a lid. After covering it with a lid, we'll allow it to simmer on a low to medium flame for around half an hour. After half an hour, we'll take off the lid and we can see that the gravy has reached the right consistency. Let us take around 1 teaspoon of ajwain seeds between our palms crush it a little and add it to the dhammalu. Our Kashmiri dhammalu is ready. Don't they look delicious? It is important to remember that authentic Kashmiri dhammalu contains no tomatoes, no onion, ginger or garlic. We hope you like this recipe of ours. If you did, please press the like button Share it with your friends and family and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.